I was a little sad leaving. Every change has a reason. Baby, let it come to you. Every soul, every season lives outside of status quo. If we stop believing, we're meant to be expanding our abilities. If the passion. Good morning, guys. Very weird angle, but. I was getting ready and it was after I finished like getting dressed and stuff that I realized oh I haven't been vlogging and I'm supposed to be vlogging today because today is a very exciting day so I'm starting the vlog here but basically today is a little natty self-care day my kind husband husband come my husband Adam he gifted me like a day of self-care so he you know he said you know what you've been doing the mom thing the stay-at-home homemaking thing how about you go pamper yourself for a day so that's what we're doing today I'm actually going into Tokyo I'm going to get a hot stone one hour long is it one hour yes one hour long massage a manicure a pedicure and a foot spa where they remove dead skin cells off your foot in Jamaica, we call that the name scrub your foot bottom. Yeah. And I'm getting ready to leave out. So right now I'm just packing my bag. So Aiden is going to be bottle fed. Let me bring you guys over here so I can talk to you in the meantime. It's a vlog. So you're going to find the camera moving and all of that throughout the video. But Aiden is going to be bottle fed frozen milk. Obviously, it's going to be thawed and stuff. But... That's how he's going to be getting fed today. At some point today, I'm going to have to pump a little bit to, like, relieve. Because my breast, like, if you are a breastfeeding mom, then you know you go a couple hours without breastfeeding and your poops are going to be, like, super huge, engorged, uncomfortable. So I did talk to my doula and she said, while I don't have to pump, like, every three hours when I would feed him since we, he's almost eight months and we are very established on breastfeeding, she, however, did recommend that I pump or I try to express some milk out at least halfway through the day today because I will get uncomfortable. So I'm just going to listen to her and bring my pump along. I should be able to find like a nursery in one of the stations and if I cannot find any in one of the stations, I'm quite sure that a baby store around the place have somewhere where moms can actually go and feed their baby so I can just go in there and pump for 10 minutes and um, be on my way. So I'm bringing my pump with me. I'm just hoping I mean, it's on low because I haven't pumped in so long, but I just hope that whatever battery it has in there is enough for me to actually like ex express milk if I get too full. So that's the plan today, and I'm going to be taking you guys along for, you know, the journey. I already got dressed and did my makeup. I'll show you at an OOTD shortly here, but let's just get ready to head out guys so, like the lighting is super tough to get a good ootd so adam is behind the camera just showing you guys what i'm wearing i cannot link anything because this is just basic stuff i've had this skirt for years and years and years i'm surprised it still fits um the shoes i got from gu a couple years ago it still fits even though my my feet has grown since pregnancy and childbirth and this um crop top i got off of Amazon basic fashion for like probably 300 yen so nothing fussy the wig is from Aliexpress and we are about to head on the road this bag actually very nice and handy Adam got it for me a few birthdays ago I don't even remember but very long so we're headed out I feel bougie let's go have some fun all right friends I am through the door and I'm heading to the train station I will not lie to you I was a little sad leaving because actually this is the first time going out like for a, I mean I did go out when I went to like cut my hair for the first time and left Aiden for a couple hours which was almost all day but I don't know today still feels weird I'm holding the camera 
as steadily as I can so I hope the footage is not shaky because I tend to do that a lot when I vlog where I just hold the camera not pay attention and then the footage is too shaky but on my way to the train station I need to load up my train card with some fares just so I don't have to like be stopping at the ticket machines all the time to get tickets to go through it's much easier for me to just load my train card and just beep my way through the gate um, we're heading to what's the place Azabu Juban I think that's the station of the massage place the massage place that I'm going to is called Elena J. They have bilingual staff and all of that. It was recommended to me by another mom friend because, yeah. So, that is where, my God, my arms. Whee, whee. That is where we're headed today. But before we head there, my appointment is at 1.30 p.m. Right now it's like 9.30 a.m and I'm leaving out because Tokyo is at least an hour and a half train ride but I wanted to get lunch before I actually head to my appointment so the plan is to stop at Shibuya head to the Jamaican restaurant there for lunch and then from Shibuya we will go to Azabujuban station where the massage place is so Technically, I'm sorry for my breathing. I'm so tired. So basically, I should get to Shibuya at around 11 o'clock and then I'll have one and a half to one and a half to two hours to like eat lunch, maybe find some place to pump and I guess walk. I shop, maybe actually spend some money who knows and have a good day so let's get traveling Whew. it's also super hot we've been here too long i can't breathe i can't take it slow we're far away from home but i can't wait to get you under my skin and right back to it we Tell me when to begin Cause every time we leave I'm longing back Back to the place where the lights go down Just you and I leaving out the rest Oh So that I need is you in my bed Give me a sign of that in your head Throw me together at its best Oh Let me know now Let me know now train platform and you know Japan did lift the mask mandate especially because it's summer and the place gets really hot and there is a possibility like for heat stroke and that stuff so they lifted the mask mandate but honestly I cannot see myself out here not wearing a mask if I'm in certain situations where you know like if I'm like shopping and browsing in a store or something like that then I am in, like, likely to take my mask off but like traveling public like in the trains and going in the certain situations sitting beside people and stuff like that I definitely have to wear my mask it's like I can't go back so I'm on the train platform waiting for my train the train is at 9.56 and it's now 9.50 so I have like six minutes to go but I did grab myself a huge liter of water this is the second largest um, one that I can manage right now so I'm just waiting I'm a bit nervous that I'm going to have to find somewhere to like pump later in the day but it's fine so you see <laughs> you're always a mom they are constantly reminded you're you're constantly reminded that you're a mom because in everything you do there's something mom related that has to get done even when it's like a self-care day so 
we're out here I will get you some b-roll clips of the journey along the way because I'm not going to be vlogging in the train anyways so see you guys Trying to remember the route to get to the Jamaican restaurant <laughs> without feeling like like a wandering a wandering sheep but I couldn't get a b-roll of the journey because where I was sitting I couldn't see anything and the train was very full actually I did not get a seat on the train until like 30 minutes into the train ride so thank God for that because I'm in heels and it would have been a hell of a hour and a half-ish journey on my feet and the train just kept getting packed and more packed <laughs> the more stops we get into the, the bigger cities. So I'm really glad I ended up with a seat after all. So now I am on my way to find the Jamaican restaurant. It's after 11 a.m. As I said, my appointment is at 1.30, so I have a lot of time to get lunch, eat, and probably check out some of the stores. If I see any H&M, I will take a visit. I want to go into Zara just to see what they have for kids. <laughs> here I am. It's supposed to be a me day, and here I am thinking about what to buy for my eight-month-old baby. But you know, you can never go and not bring something back for the kids. So. Let me turn you guys around and show you the city of Shibuya, the famous Shibuya Square. I don't have anybody to like take a photograph of me or anything, so <sighs> I guess it's just gonna be me. Oh, she's pregnant. I remember those days when <laughs> Jamaicans, you know, right? <laughs> Listen in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it one thing I realized though, the people in Tokyo, they're going to do whatever the rules say because I've been seeing people actually without their masks. Um, they are really not trying to keep up and I just hope <laughs> This Jamaican restaurant is open because I don't know what I'm going to eat otherwise. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I see it. It's about 11.30, right? Oh! Konnichiwa! Alright, so we got to the Jamaican restaurant. So I'm at um, Goodwood Terrace. I always say Greenwood Terrace. I don't know why, but I'm perusing the lunch menu. I, I know what I want. I want jerk chicken and festival, but they're saying I can get jerk chicken with rice and peas and soup or drink. Oh! And soup or drink 
not both. One go got nothing coming out right there. Um, let me ask which soup they have on menu. Sorry, which soup is on the menu today? Soup? Mm. What 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 type? Uh, soup. Uh, vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. Yeah. Okay, okay. I would like jerk chicken festival. Jerk chicken festival. Oh, set. Jerk chicken set. Rice and no festival. Festival. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hi. Hi. And soup. Soup. Mm. Thank you. Hi. Drink. Uh, soup or drink. Oh, soup or drink. Okay, soup. Soup. So okay. separate. Uh, okay. Betsu. Betsu. Ah, uh, soup. Mm, betsu. Mm. Drink. Drink. Mm. Mm. And, uh, Mango? Mango. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder because I feel like I look really pretty. <laughs> I hate to be like all self praising, but guys, honestly, it's the first time postpartum since I have felt so good in my skin. Like, I'm wearing a crop top, I'm showing skin. My arms, I mean, there's still some fat, but. Yeah, the tonest they've ever been. Thanks to working you know. out. So I'm really feeling confident. Oh, my God. I'm, off, I'm really feeling confident in myself and in my postpartum body. So that's something to celebrate because I feel as if postpartum women are often stigmatized with baby fat and all of that stuff. So I'm just embracing where I'm at right now and cheers to my fitness journey, you know? Things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one like that Aiden is at home having the time of his life with his dad Aiden is his lunch which I'm thankful for because the last couple of days, maybe maybe for a week, he hasn't been too interested in solids because he's been really working on learning how to crawl and like move from a crawling position into sitting position and then he's also trying to like hold on to things and pull himself up and also I think he's teething a lot as well so he hasn't been too interested in eating so I'm, I'm really happy that he ate majority of his lunch he ate off all the yogurt past 12 I've had lunch my belly is full and now I'm trying to get to H&M to walk around a bit before I have to get on the train again to head to the station of where the massage place is so we're gonna go to H&M right now I actually do not have as much free time even after I do all of the self-care things because <laughs> My appointment, as I said, is 1.30 and it doesn't end until like 4.15. So I'm spending a long time in there because 
as I said, my massage is an hour long, and then I'm doing the mani and pedi, and then the foot spa thing. So it's gonna be quite a while. By the time I'm finished, it will be evening, and it's a long journey home. So I I would want to start <laughs> that journey as soon as I'm finished, so I can get home not too late. <laughs> All right. So guys, actually something weird happened just now. So I was at the crossing. First of all, I couldn't find H&M. And then I realized that I crossed the road where I shouldn't have. So I had to go back. And then I was looking at the time, checking the time. And I was like, is it worth it going to H&M? Because I don't want to be late to my appointment. And it seems as if I'm going to have to do even another transfer before getting to the station that I, am, I have to get to. So I'm like... It isn't worth it to go to H&M because, you know, H&M was just a sidestep to kill time. I don't want to be late to my appointment. Appointment is the, the meat of the matter today. Anyway, not for shopping. And I was at the crossing and this young dude came up to me. He is Japanese. He had a bag of chips and like maybe snacks and juice in a little bag as if he just went shopping. Kind of, and he came up to me and he was talking Japanese and he was like pointing at his bag and I can't help but think that he was trying like he spotted me and <laughs> I don't know he was trying to invite he was like maybe saying like I should come and eat chips with him like the little bit of Japanese that I did understand from what he was saying it sounds as if he was like trying to say like let's go eat chips together or something like that Bro, first of all, I'm married, but second of all, thanks for noticing me. Oh my goodness. That's a weird encounter. I've never had any Japanese person come up to me like that, especially for a male. I must really look good out here in these streets. I mean, I hate to like be all, I look good, blah, 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 but truly like this has never happened before so that's interesting but um, as I said I decided I'm going to like try to head to the station where I'm heading to and it's better to kill time there even though the city doesn't have much to offer like Shibuya than you know be late so I'm going to try to find which train line I should be taking I just told Adam about the little encounter the Japanese guy and Adam was like, Ray, your bus. <laughs> your bus. <laughs> He's so funny. I got to Azabujuban station and on the website of the massage place, Alena Jade, as I was telling you, they have the access there in English. So they say to come out at exit 7 and then they give the directions of how to reach them so that's what i'm following from here on out it is 1 10 pm so right on time for my appointment so i'm really glad i actually did not stop at h&m because walking to and from to find all the train lines and stuff really took some time so it's good that i had the time um i had spare time to like take it easy and find what i was looking for instead of rushing Especially because I don't know where I'm going. It's the first time, so I'm happy I made that decision, guys. There are so many people looking at me, staring at me because I'm vlogging, but I don't care. It's work, and my feet are killing me. I don't know if I said this before, but my feet are killing me. They offer foot massages. I may actually pay the two thousand yen to get a foot massage extra because. My feet are killing me, man. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to wear heels. God damn it. My feet are on fire. Wow. Because it was a lot of walking and it's been a lot of standing on the trains because the trains are so full. So. <laughs> Bad decisions. Okay. I found... Oh. The... <laughs> I found the place. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm sorry, my English 
is no Your English is that. perfect. You're <laughs> perfect. You. So I try to do my best. <laughs> You're perfect. Don't <laughs> worry you about it. Yeah. So please choose one oil from here. So this is the soothing. Okay. Yeah, actually different salons. Mm. So this is a lavender and orange. Okay. This is a tension. Mm. This is a detoxing. Mm. I'm I'm liking tension. Tension. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. So I am in my room. She said my room. Um, apparently, you get your own massage room. I don't know. This is this is new territory for me. I'm not used to this kind of soft life, so I'm really enjoying it. Let me show you a tour room before I have to strip naked. But How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Ooh, I wonder Until winter comes Until winter comes Until winter comes It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder It really makes me wonder Oh, I wonder or 10 minutes since I got back in the house but after the last clip that you saw I put up the camera because my feet were on fire I went into Uniqlo could not find a slipper my size so I said you know what I'm not even going to spend money on something that can't fit me simply because I need to get out but honestly I felt as if I would take my shoes off and just go shoeless but I know that would have you know caused like eyes on me and stuff so I didn't I made it home I ended up taking a taxi from the train station instead of walking down because there was no way I could walk like my feet were on fire so made it home we are made it home <laughs> we're sitting down to eat I did go back to the Jamaican restaurant to get dinner so we're eating now after I finish eating I'm going to pump because my boobs have tripled in size since this morning I did not pump today simply because I wasn't feeling full but then in the afternoon it really started filling up so I have wrote down notes for like my next time out one of the the top things is definitely going to be to pump midday whether or not I feel full because I'm figuring if I had pumped midday 
even though I was in full, my boobs would not have, you know, filled up to this extreme where it's, it's, it's uncomfortable at this point. So definitely will pump regardless. That's even if I'm still breastfeeding the next time I am out. Why are these little flies flying around? What are they? And the other thing that I'll be doing different ne ne differently next time is not wearing heels or if I'm wearing heels to bring a flats because Jesus have mercy my feet right now are still on fire like I need to go and get a hot shower and just massage my feet because oh my goodness but anyway I'm gonna wrap up eating pump a little and then freshen up for the night and I'll show you guys what I got done all right guys so here are my nails this is the color that i got kind of mint greeny i usually go for reds or blues those kinds of i guess darker colors but i decided i want something along the lines of nude this time so that is why i went with lime green it was between this lime green color and like a mustard yellow color but a lighter kind of mustard yellow it wasn't as i guess neon <laughs> like like as what you'd picture when you picture mustard yellow it was kind of like chill like a nude so so this is the color i got and let me show you the toes Tony. So this is the color I got on the toes. It's kind of peach, kind of orange. As for like the, the pedicure, like the removal of dead skin, I mean dead skin is gone off of my foot, but I still don't think it's <laughs> as good as a pedicure that I would have gotten in Jamaica because I, I mean she just took dead skin off like one time. In Jamaica, they would do it for like maybe three times before they move into smoothing everything out. So basically, she did the same thing that I would probably manage to do myself in the bathroom or have Adam do for me. But it was a self-care day. I'm glad someone else did it and, you know, I didn't have to do it myself. So that was that. Is there anything that I am not telling you guys? I told you guys about the 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 young guy that i think hit on me today um the massage was good i show you guys i took some clips of like, the massage and stuff so yeah i think we're all caught up aiden is sleeping he had a very good day with his dad and with that being said he is now asleep the monitor actually died we need to plug it into charge but i did check on him so sad that i cannot like wake him up and tell him i'm back and stuff because he's done to sleep for the night and usually he won't wake up until tomorrow at about 6 to 6 30 a.m so yeah i still haven't pumped yet but i'm gonna close out the video and head to pumping so this is where i am going to close out today's vlog it was a very happy self-care self-care day thank you so much to adam for gifting me this day i really really appreciate it of course i'm going to tell him this too but you know just in case you're watching sir um arigato gozaimasu and that is where i'm going to close out the video you guys i'm tired <laughs> So thank you so much for spending the day with me. If you liked today's self-care day, please give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a video. Adam is currently teaching an online English class, so you're hearing that in the background. But until next time, bye guys.